What's going on fam? Welcome back to the channel. I have a very special review for you guys today. This is the 50th anniversary Lotto Stadio boots. These are super limited, super rare, and we are going to take a look at what makes these boots so special. First, I want to take a second to thank New Soccer Shop for sourcing these for me. These are a fantastic and super mega rare pair of football boots, only one of 500 in the world. So thank you to New Soccer Shop. You can go check out his Instagram link below or I'll put his little tag like right up here. So he is awesome. He's from the Seattle area, which is where I'm from. So go check out his stuff. He is absolutely fantastic. One of my one of my favorite dudes in the business. So thank you again, uh, Jonathan. I appreciate you very much. Let's hop into the unboxing straight away. We'll talk about all the tech specs and stuff, which there aren't very many of because this is a classic boot. Uh, but the presentation of this boot is absolutely sensational. So here we go. So I, this barely fits actually in the frame. As you can see, it's quite a large box, but let's go this way so you guys can take a look. So 1973 was when Lotto was founded. It is 2023 edition. So it's the limited edition 50 year anniversary, which is this little cool logo there. It is a absolutely giant box. You've got the Lotto logo in gold here, Lotto logo there and then Lotto here. And then this says 50th anniversary limited edition numbered for Unisport, which is one of the manufacturers or one of the big uh, worldwide stores that got 50 of them. So the way that this boot actually is numbered is it'll say, I believe like one out of 50 because out of 500, there are 10 big stores around the world that got 50 an allocation of 50 of these boots each. There are only 500 in the world, so I have one of 50 of the Unisport ones. I actually don't know which number I have, but we'll, we'll check it out once we get into the unboxing. So here we go. So this is a really unique unboxing experience, which I might actually take some extra B-roll of just, be, just to show you guys what it's like. But you open it up this way, and it opens. There's a new Soccer Shop logo, by the way. Super cool. There you go, screenshot it, boom. Okay, so it opens up and there's this felt thing, but there's also this whole, I don't even know how to, how to do this. Okay, here we go. So I'll flip it over. Yeah, we'll do some extra B-roll of this, but basically here down you can see that 50 year anniversary thing and then it says Lotto celebrates its 50, 50th anniversary with a numbered limited edition of the legendary Stadio, an exclusive memorabilia item made with a unique blend of Italian craftsmanship and premium materials designed in Montebelluna, the heart of the Italian sports system uh, district. So very, very cool, super unique box. Um, I'm just gonna do it this way. So this is what that box looks like. So you open it and it's got this insane opening experience and then it sits on the table like that so you can read as you open this pair of football boots. So very, very cool. So back to the overhead camera. So this is unbelievable unboxing experience, probably one of the coolest that I've ever seen. And then this is a piece of like suede felt material that bends in half, there you go, it's like a little cardboard insert, and then you get this limited edition, really nice uh, string bag, I would say. This is okay for a string bag quality, it is, it is pretty nice, um, but yeah. And then that same text that was on the front cover you find on here, which is a really nice touch, but a very nice uh, hardy black bag, which is like canvas bag, which is super nice. All right, here we go, the moment of truth. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, ladies and gentlemen, look at those. Oh my goodness. These are absolutely stunning. Okay, so right here, there you go, 10 out of 50. So this is pair 10 out of 50 from the Unisport, uh, the Unisport allocation, I guess, of this football boot. Wow, take a look at that. Black accents, Italian flag, We'll go over some of the little micro details on this football boot, but these are amazing. These are also in my size nine US, which is awesome because I'll be able to do a try on of these out in the sunshine, which I'm sure they will look pretty sensational. 
So really quick, tech specs of this football boot. There aren't that many just because this is a very classic leather football boot. Um, this is obviously a football boot that incorporates the tongue. So this is a fully premium kangaroo leather with a microfiber liner along the inside and then you have a little bit of padding on the heel area and right underneath this tongue. So really that's it. It's just a fully kangaroo leather upper. You've got really premium quality materials. I'm gonna take this stuff out as well. Let's see if there's any more. Yeah, beautiful, okay. So I'll take this little paper out and there we go. So as you can see, very, very soft. This isn't quite, I would say, made in Japan Mizuno quality leather, but as far as durability, it feels just on par. It's just not quite as soft straight out of the box. That's also because Lotto has sort of, this this particular, uh, what am I saying? This, this particular silo, the Stadio, came out many, many years ago, and they haven't done any iterations to it, whereas something like the Morelia 2 made in Japan, those boots they iterate on every couple years, and they've made lighter and lighter with more modern materials and all that stuff. But this is the same boot that you got many, many years ago. Um, Lotto was very, very famous back in the 80s, 90s, and early 2000s for making some of the boot technology that we actually see today. Lotto was the first boot to, or first brand, excuse me, to introduce the laceless football boot that really didn't take off, but it was a technology that we'd never seen before. And so that's, it's credit to Lotto that we see a lot of this stuff come up today. This does compete with things like the Copa Mundial made in Germany, like the original one um, that we still can get today. Some of the made in Japan Adler and Mizuno products, some of the Pantafolo Doro and some of the more niche micro brands in Italy. All of those boots kind of compare with this because this is that classic leather football boot. So the outsole is also stitched to the upper. You see this in a lot of the highest end craftsmanship made boots. So what this does is basically add to the integrity of both the sole plate and the upper so that when you are kicking on all sorts of different surfaces and pitches, this boot will not split from the upper. You definitely will not get any separation and essentially uh, you'd have to crack the sole plate in order to do any damage to this football boot unless you were to like burst through the leather or something or I don't know, something would happen. But this is a quite a robust football boot and a lot of this durability has to do with the stitching which we actually see in quite a few other made in Japan models as well. So a really great technology that they've added. I think this should be added to most football boots. That's just my opinion, especially with a lot of AG pitches popping up nowadays. This is the, uh, I think you pronounce it Punto Flex or Punto Flex, which is essentially just a area of the forefoot where there is a little bit of extra flex that adds some flexibility and um, stability and push off as you move forward. But again, we're talking it's, at some respect, this boot isn't about the tech details. It's just one of those football boots that you enjoy for the heritage, the color, the presentation, the unboxing experience, and all that stuff. Um, and then you also, on the sole plate, have this little shock off, which is like a sort of a rubbery, rubberized material that has a little bit of push off to it. My guess is that was uh, originally a technology that was meant to make you bounce a little bit in the heel so that when you pushed off, it was very natural feeling um, to, to kind of push off in that way. All conical studs for obvious reasons. And then you've got this tongue here, which is pretty fantastic. As you flip it over, you get that stitched lotto there, and then you've got the 1973 to 2023, 50th anniversary made in Italy, uh, that Unisport logo here with the 10 out of 50, and then back here you've got that limited edition uh, 50 year anniversary logo as well with the lotto and the Italian flag stitched in. So really that's it for this football boot as far as tech specs go. Um, this, the Stadio is Lotto's most famous and best-selling boot of all time in my research. That's, I think, what uh, m most people say. This is like their most popular boot. They're, they've done some remakes of it in the past couple of years. There was a black and green colorway, and then I think an all-black colorway, maybe one or two others, um, but all of them follow the same construction guidelines. This just happens to be the 50th anniversary in this absolutely stunning all gold, which is pretty wild looking. The only other gold pair of football boots I've ever even owned is the Neymar Jr. 
I think not the liquid diamond, the, those are the silver ones. The gold Neymar Jr. Hyper Venom ones, I only had for a little bit, never wore them, sold them immediately because I thought they were too flashy. I am definitely keeping these. Might wear them. I know they're super limited, but these are cool, and I might want to wear them every once in a while, so we'll see. But very, very exceptional pair of football boots. Beautiful, made in Italy, craftsmanship, really, really nice, and lots of heritage to this football boot. And how crazy bright is this gold colorway? Absolutely wild for a pair of kangaroo leather football boots. Very excited to see what these feel like on feet. As you guys know, the Morelia 2 is one of my favorite pair of football boots. A lot of the Adler boots as well have been some of my favorites as far as classic leather feeling. I've worn a lot of those in trainings as well. And so this might be different. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna wear these in training just because they are so uber limited and really, really nice, especially with this whole unboxing experience. So we'll see on that end, but I am gonna take them out on pitch just slip my feet in them, see what the touch is like, and then uh, we'll go from there. So without further ado, guys, let's hop into the un unboxing. We just did the unboxing. Let's hop into the on-feet portion of the video, and we'll see how these fit and feel, and of course, what the sizing is like. All right, fam, out here at the pitch, I'm actually going to get these like unlaced. These are perhaps the world's longest laces I've ever seen in my life. Look at that. That's like almost two-thirds of a meter, or like two feet. And these are fully laced already, which is bananas to me. Um, okay, what I'm gonna do really quick is I'm actually gonna unlace these to the point where I can put the, like the, put the laces basically through the hole on the tongue. And I gotta admit, handling these a little bit more, these are so classy. Like they, the quality of the leather, all that stuff is amazing. Again, as I said before, um, especially out here on, in the beautiful Rochester sunshine, these are gonna look incredible, um, regardless of what kit color you wear them with. One of the things that I am interested about is whether they break in well, whether they are actually a boot that performs decently well. I assume the touch is gonna be pretty incredible, um, but we'll see how we go. And you might be thinking, why in, why in, why would you ever consider wearing a boot this rare out on a pitch like this? And frankly, boots are meant to be worn. That's my philosophy. There are a few pairs of boots that I will get through eventually. Um, there's only one pair really that I don't know if I'll ever wear and that's the Magista Black History Month ones, um, but that's only because those fall apart super easily, so I may end up selling them anyway just because. Um, but there you go, big flappy tongue, which is awesome. Can't wait to put these on. Let me just grab this as well. Um, what I'll do is I'm gonna cut straight to the, uh, the on-feet portion so you, I don't bore you with my, with my ranting. All right, here we go, and we're back. Just finished lacing up, or unlacing and then relacing this left boot one. Let me get these all the way undone, and we'll get them on feet. They look absolutely amazing. Okay, here we go. First impressions of the Lotto. Oh my goodness. These are like golden slippers, my friend. Holy moly. And I know, yes, Pantavoladoro, I'm pretty sure means golden slipper in Italian. So no, different brand, different brand. Wow, the quality. You can just feel the leather. Oh my God. Okay, let's get these un, or let's get these laced up. Amazing, amazing straight out of the box. Um, the heel area is definitely a bit lackluster right away. Usually with these uh, classic fitting football boots, it's really, really difficult to get a proper heel lockdown. Um, and I swear I'm gonna cut these laces. They are so, so long. Um, wow, okay, well, maybe we'll just like triple knot maybe? God, I don't even know. Maybe we'll go underneath the boots, how's that? Okay, we're gonna go underneath the boots to be even more classic looking. Yeah, baby, look at that. Some classic old like David Beckham shit right here. All right, here we go. Bang. Oh my days. How freaking awesome is that? Wow, okay. Um, these are super comfortable, definitely. Uh, heel is not that comfortable. It's not giving me any hot spots, but it's pretty lackluster as far as the fit. I feel like it's designed for feet not like mine. I don't know. 
I don't know what it would be designed for, but the, the classic leather football boots like this tend to have a heel area for me that just doesn't work that well. I don't know what it is, but um, yeah. Overall comfort and sizing though is really spectacular on these football boots. I think uh, they've nailed it with the comfort and just the just absolute class. Look at that. We'll flip up the tongue just to give you a good uh, good idea. Okay, there we go. As far as classic football boots goes, these really are one of the most comfortable and plush feeling football boots I've had on my feet, genuinely. These are pretty sensational. Um, in the sunlight, they look epic too, especially with a blue kit. Blue and gold tends to be a pretty, pretty awesome color combo. Um, the leather seems to be really soft straight out of the box. It is a little bit tight around the midfoot area, so it's kind of interesting. It's got like a really open and comfortable forefoot area, and the whole boot is the same material, but it seems to be a little tighter around right below, like closer to my ankle after the my knuckles, like right in this area here. And so as it gets closer to my heel, it gets a little bit tight, um, but maybe that's just like the design of the boot so to make sure you don't, you know, Get any rollover when there's lockdown uh, issues. I can absolutely feel uh, it's called shock off. That little that little um, bouncy thing. You can feel it in the heel. Like it actually feels like it's lifting you off uh, the ground a little bit, which is kind of interesting. And it does have a little bit of a bouncy sensation, which is which is cool. Um, stud pattern is really straightforward. Just conical studs. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do a ton in these football boots just because they are so so precious. Um, I do want to wear them though. So at some point I'll pull the trigger and I'll make some short content, maybe even a training session in them and just do some like classic long, like passing or first touch drills or something like that in them. But I can't get myself to uh, move around much in them right now. But if you are interested in a pair of the Lotto Stadios, I would absolutely recommend these for somebody who is looking for a classic leather football boot. There's a lot on the market. I tend to prefer the feeling of the Adler Horenzo and the Mizuno Morelia 2 compared to this, but I will say that this is a really special feeling football boot. As far as touch goes, I'm sure they are going to be golden. Oh yeah, very, very nice touch. Super plush, super comfortable it's like having pillows on your feet and uh yeah they are they are really really nice to manipulate the ball with in the air uh, definitely a pair of football boots that if you are somebody who all they do is juggle these will be one of the most comfortable boots on the market for you uh, particularly because of how plush that touch is as you're contacting the ball so that's kind of it honestly for the on feet portion of the video i, I think for me this is a boot that i'd never wear in a game it's you know a lotto boot and a classic leather football boot like this. The closest thing, the closest boot I'd ever wear are the two that I mentioned before, the Horenzo and the Morelia 2. Um, but from the standpoint of just a fun classic leather football boot to knock around, they're super, super high quality. They're made in Montebelluna, Italy, um, which is where all of kind of the top end Italian leather football boots come from. And for me, these are a class, class pair of football boots. These definitely get an Oh My Days rating with the color, of course of at least at least an 8.5 out of 10 maybe even a 9 out of 10 with the color these are these are pretty spectacular um so yeah that's it for the video guys i hope you guys enjoyed that uh video review of the ultra limited lotto stadio in this gold colorway celebrating 50 years of lotto football boots like the video if you got value from it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you guys are interested in in-season lifting programs, very, very important for uh, injury prevention and strength gains and maintenance during season, you can check out my website. It'll be the second link in the description box below, below um, News Soccer Shop. So go check out News Soccer Shop, see what he's got in stock. I think he just, as of the filming of this video, he just dropped a huge uh, stock of the new CTR, well, they're old, but the new CTR re-releases. So you guys can go pick those up from him as well. And he's an absolute homie. So definitely go check out his page, drop a follow on his page and uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. As always, be awesome, take care. I'll see y'all in the next video.